Good afternoon, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Americans. Um, as you know, today is voting day, but the time has come uh, to give you a message that um, was given to me um, when I was 16 in 1974. I overdosed from uh, from a combination of, of alcohol and pills. It was accidental. Uh, there's more to the story, but that would take forever. But uh, the fact is, I went to the hospital. I nearly died. Um, I, I had um, the, the near NDE. Most people call it the near death experience. I saw the light and um, I wanted to actually leave this earth because I've always said uh, that I am on this earth, I am not of this earth. I never have been and I never will be. I even was talking about nuclear war when I was uh, age five. Um, I was punished for that, to not speak about that. I grew up in a Roman Catholic family, and I despised the Vatican, and uh, I said the Pope is unholy. I got in trouble for that. Finally, uh, when I was 18, my dad let me leave the church. I am still Catholic. I am just not a Roman Catholic. But what happened on that fateful day, well, when I wanted to go up and, and meet God, uh, I saw this, I saw his body, and um, and I saw his head shaking. He said, no, my son, in a, like a fatherly voice, very pleasant, very soft. And he says, no, my son, you have more work to do. When the time comes, you will know, and I will tell you, and do not, do not say this until the time is right. Well, a few, a few days ago, a few nights ago, um, I had a dream, and um, I have been hurt by many, many people, um, and this uh, has uh, God has noticed this, and I um, now. I need because I was given some dreams and visions shortly after that when I was uh, at home recovering and my parents were really treating me badly. Um, they could have dealt with my situation a lot differently. I still love them. I forgive them as as God has, has forgiven me uh, with Jesus at the cross of Calvary. Uh, and, in, and what's going to happen tonight is going to shock the world. Um, and I need to call out some people. I'll start with President Trump. President Trump, um, first and foremost, I have asked you and messaged you many, many times. And... Um, with absolutely no, no response. Uh, you will lose tonight on a massive landslide. Um, however it happens, but that's going to be the result of your inaction. Um, you have failed to listen to God, and, um, and that's going to be the result. Um, God will, um, that's all I am allowed to say. God will deal with you more when, when, when it's his time. To, I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm just here to be a messenger because I'm a sinner just like anybody else. I have my sins and I have many, many things that I need to uh, take care of. But my, my, um, relationship with God is personal as is with everybody else. 
Um, my relationship with God is nobody's business but between me and God. Um, but I, I reveal what I'm allowed to reveal, and I do not interfere with anyone else's relationship with God. But this is the most important uh, message uh, because uh, tomorrow morning, um, the United States, well, we've been actually in, in a communist state since, uh, since 2020, um, or 2021, actually, um, when the installation of, the, of Joe Biden was put in. That's when we officially became a communist country. Uh, and when President Harris, uh, or President-elect Harris, comes in, um, that will complete the cycle. Uh, um, there's only seven more years left. Uh, now, I've tried to help many, many people, including some in Hollywood, who I will rename, uh, na keep nameless, uh, more than one, but I'm referring to someone in particular, and she knows who she is. Um, California, here's what's going to happen in California, because I had a dream um, after I came out of the hospital. Uh, a big earthquake is going to hit. When? I don't know. Um, but that will be all on God's watch, probably within the next three and a half years. The city of Los Angeles is going to be hit with a tsunami so hard that it will flood the entire city. Hollywood will crumble into the ocean. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge I saw vividly shaking back and forth and it goes on. And uh, for anybody who doesn't know anything about um, uh, geology, the city of San Francisco is built on sand. And if you read the Bible, you know how, um, 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 you know how it says, a, 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 a godly house, is its foundation is on rock, but an unholy house is built on sand. Well, that's San Francisco. San Francisco goes bye-bye, most of it. And the earthquake will be so bad that Lake Tahoe will flood both sides. It will uh, come down, and wash wash down the uh, the mountains on the side of the, the Sierras on the California side, and everything in its path. And anyone who's in the foothills um, of California, they will be swept away in the flood. Uh, Sacramento will be decimated, uh, and on the other side, uh, there will be no more Las Vegas. Uh, uh, that will that Las Vegas will be just absolutely destroyed. Lake Cows, who whatever, however much water is left in it, I'm not sure how much uh, uh, flooding that will do, but uh, that will break apart. Um, Arizona will be the, the new new coastline. And um, so this is my warning to everyone. This, this will happen soon. And um, um, so I would, I would urge all of you in those areas to, to really to, to get out of there, to get out of there as soon as you can, because these things will come to pass. Uh, I've tried to help many, many people. Nobody listened. So, um, so as of tomorrow, we will have a president-elect Harris, and that's just the beginning of the, the pain that's going to be inflicted on this country by the, our Heavenly Father. And, um, but I do have to mention a couple other people before I go. Pastor Paul Begley. Um, I regret to say this, but unfortunately, 
uh, you know where to look in the Bible. You know it. But you know what God has in store for for um, false, um, you know, for, for, for people who are leading their flock away from God. Unfortunately for you, Pastor, um, you know, I, I used to listen to you, but you, um, I, I personally believe that that you are one of those who have led the flock um, away from God, but that's God's decision. Um, I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm just here to send a message and to send a message of warning. Um, I mean, uh, we're past um, emergency stage. We're, we're past dialing 911, that sort of thing. Um, God has sent many, many warnings, and nobody is listening has listened and uh, I have to say that there are times when I haven't listened myself and um, um, I saw where I went went wrong through dreams and that sort of thing um, so he has told me so um, again all of us while we are in this human body we are all sinners but Jesus died on the cross for all those sins but um, um, pastors who who lead their flock astray and well God uh, has uh, special punishment for those I'm not here to judge anyone not even pastors and Pastor Dave um, I, I believe you are okay um, I don't watch your videos all the time I've, I've watched some um, but this is just you know uh, again, all the, all the final decisions are made by God himself. Um, I'm just a messenger. That's all I am. Um, but prepare for things. Things are going to just... Uh, if, think, 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 if you think things are bad now, um, they're going to get worse. But for the true believers... Um, the true believers will be called home, but nobody knows when that's going to be. Um, I think it's sooner rather than later, um, but I, I, do, I wouldn't want to uh, uh, dare say when because that's an abomination in God's eye. So uh, all he wants us to do is keep looking up and... Um, and just get, get ourselves right. And that includes me. Um, I'm, not, um, I'm not safe from his, his uh, uh, final decision. I mean, if I, if I don't clear up some things, um, uh, yeah, then he will, then, then there will be punishment. Um, I'm in the same boat as everyone else. And one other thing, last thing um, and that's why I have the lion in the background um, Dan Criminal Campbell this message is for you uh, directly for you I'm going to end it with this that you know what you've done you know how you've harmed me and um, the financial impact of what you have done is about seven million dollars and well if you want to escape um, you know the, your, your fate for eternity then um, go ahead and ignore me um, but contact me um, and pay your debt and and uh, and uh, that will be done and I'm going to end on that. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say.